Welcome back to Project Zomboid. It's Ronald here, and today we are kicking off in the comfort of our nice, nice little industrial base. So after our last attempt, I haven't really made any effort to get back to the uh, police station. And I think today is going to be the day. So between episodes, I haven't really done too much, except for move a workbench just in here, but we'll come back to that later. So that's, that's another little project I'm debating working on, but... I'm yet to decide how I want to do it, so I'm going to take a day off. Interior design and done. We, we don't need to do any more today. I think heading out here, getting this place semi under control is going to be the ideal step two. So we're, we're so close to having the armory complete that not getting it done now is only going to cause future problems. Well, it's not. Not at all. We have so much gear in there that we probably don't even need anymore, but I'm I'm just one of those guys that loves to hoard stuff, basically, in game and in real life. It's a big problem, and having it just surrounding me feels wonderful. Don't know why, don't know what it is, but I'm going to collect it all. Our true Ash Catchem is coming out of us. If we can't round up every single bullet on this map or use it, then... Then it'll be a sad day, basically. But today, that is what we're going to be doing. So, last attempt, the helicopter just ruined absolutely everything, basically. Up to the whole housing estate, it's going to be ruined. It's going to be a nightmare, so I'm not really looking forward to it. But I do not know what was going on there, but that was not nice at all. But yeah, um, not nice. The helicopter basically just trashed our whole walkway through. Uh, both sides of that little housing estate are probably going to be horrendous because I did a silly and just carried on walking between the two. Dragon Zed's absolutely everywhere. But we can only try, can't we? We can only try. So I've got that machete we don't actually need anymore. It's had two repairs and it's going to have no more. Machete num number two, however... We've still got the katana on hand as well, just in case. Plus about six or seven mags for the M9. So we should be good. So I'm going to try and dodge most of these. Get to the gun store slash fire station. Clear out all the Zed surroundings, set up in there. And we should be able to work something out from there. Oh, this place does not look pretty, does it? Does not look pretty at all. Going to try and play the game straight up through the middle. Very, very risky, but I'm sure we'll be alright. I'll see you when we get there. Okay, so my game plan was basically just to make it here and figure it out. There's a lot of Zeds absolutely everywhere. It's, yeah, it's wild. I'm kind of too scared to turn around. There's a lot of Zeds. So if we can sort of get on top of the first few, keep our stamina down as much as we possibly can, and then push our way through like that, we should be golden. So I'm not... I am a bit worried, to be fair. I'm not too worried, but I do know that this is probably going to be one of the most overwhelming jobs I've done in a little while. And that's trumping, uh, taking over the police station to begin with. So that was heavy, but this is outrageous. At least that time we didn't have two helicopters worth of Zeds and just all the chaos that's followed. You know, migrations, uh, cars driving through. All of that fun stuff, basically. Yeah, we're... We're going to struggle a lot today, I think. They're still floating through. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's more Zeds than old Diego can handle, I think. I think that might be too many. It's quite a fine line between a lot and too many. And that is it. That is the line. Let's see what our Cordy's up to, though. It's been a while since I used this bad boy. It's not up to a good start, I can tell you that. Sweet. Okay. Maybe it is off to a good start. 
Oh, they were like blended together. Could not see them for the life of me. Um, maybe we try and swing around the backside here. So I think, yeah, this place does double round. We could use this as a bit of a buffer at least. Hmm. Or we could just end up pulling even more Zeds and making an even more chaotic day. Ah, oh, that takes us right into the back end of the police station, doesn't it? That could work. As long as there's no route through. I think there is. Yeah, there definitely is. Definitely is. Alright, that does make it slightly easier though. It's a bit more leveled out. Now we just need to take them all. Tell you what though. Did not expect to be clearing this out twice in such rapid succession. Might even just switch out to this bad boy. Should be able to keep it just under weight. I think it's the only way we're getting through this though. Without a shotgun. There's no way we're clearing through this ridiculous amount of Zeds with just hunter knives and the handful of handgun rounds we've got. Oh yeah, I do not like this one bit. Do not like this at all. Easy does it there, boy. Katana coming in to save the day though. I reckon if we just keep it in this little circle, we should be okay. Ah, that's just a cleaver. Got my hopes up for nothing. Try use some cars to level out the flow a bit. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's going to be a long day. <laughs> Keep it moving, keep it grooving. Take some beta blockers and go for round two. Uh, we might not even make it a full circle before we have to start round two. Get on then, folks. Lovely job. So I was just checking to see what munitions I had just on the little loop and check this out. So I grabbed four magazines from our little container just happened to grab four empty ones. Classic. We have no handgun ammo. Not at all. I think I've used maybe two mags. We had two mags worth of ammo when we came in. How ridiculous is that? Absolutely ridiculous is the answer. That's oh, so annoying. Just kind of highlighted the first five. I said, ah, they're probably all full. Nah. Not even close. Not even close. So it makes me want to get into that gun store more than ever. Come yeah, on. There we go. Couple more loops. Ah, you're joking. That's the one thing I was worried about. Um, what's going to be the best way to get ourselves re -staminated? Probably straight in here. Tuck in the back room and hope for the best. Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Now we've just got a hell of a lot of them with us and nowhere to go. Classic. Um, how's this end look? If we can pop in one of these houses for a sec. Oh, come on. Come on, fella. Let's just try and get on top of a few. If I wasn't exhausted, this would be fine. There we go. Still a few, but we should be able to recover. Sounded like a back window to this building. 
Can we get any cereal or anything? Something quick and easy. Chocolate. And some brown sugar. Sign me up. Take that marmalade too, just for the road. And the pancake mix for when we get home. Is there a fork? Yeah, boy. Fork and a bowl. The bowl is the last piece of that puzzle. Oh, who's that? Not the neighbor we want to see is the answer to that question. Right, there's only a handful of Zeds left. We might actually be able to get on the ball there. They just came flocking in. No hesitation. And dip back. Go for the old cordless drill. Can we get a one swing? Damn it. If we can get just a whole bunch of these big old one swingers, we'll be fine. Just like that. Too good. Almost scripted. <laughs> Almost. Alright, that looks a lot better. Guessing most of them are going to be inside here. Which isn't the worst thing. It's broken them up a lot though. And we got one with an axe. Um, where are you, axe man? Oh, it's brand new as well. Dreamy. We can just pull these out nice and steady. We'll be alright. Yeah, my folks. One at a time. Not gonna lie, I thought coming in here was gonna be a death sentence, but it actually turned out to be our saving grace. I'll take the win. Won't take the win just yet. Get out of here, boy. Yeah, not too bad. And last but not least, I guess we should work our way through. Be silly not to, really. Especially now there's a, a nice little hunter knife in play. I can hear them behind me, but... But where? There's no way it's just you. Oh, maybe it was. It sounded like they were directly behind me. Yeah, I think that was it. Lovely job. Now we've just got whatever flows left from this back room. We'll be golden. Oh, what a day. What a day. Let's grab the old hunting knife. Maybe shift the katana out. Let's see what the neighbours are up to. Come on. You guys are not the neighbours I wanted to see either. One big old swinger. And she's out of here. Beautiful. Alright, should we check the front door? Looks a bit sketchy. Feel like I could be doing a big silly, but screw it. We're here now. Go hard or go home, as they say. Yeah, they're playing the same game too. Y'all want some of this? Get out of here. Too easy. Lovely. Alright, we're still going to have quite a few Zeds beyond this building. But for the most part, looks like we're actually going pretty steady. He says, immediately in his words. <laughs> Just waiting for that exhaustion to creep back up as well. It's going to be here in no time. Definitely pulled way more than I wanted to there. Um, shall we play the game going through the firehouse? I think those windows might have been our saving grace there. And we might just be alright. Cordless drill coming in to save the day once again. Easy tiger. There we go. 
There we go. Oh. There's always one. Sneaking through the cracks. Might as well take out these guys and then probably push into the gun store for a good night's sleep, I reckon. No point in pushing our luck too much. It's starting to get dark already, so heading home is probably a good idea. Get yeah, my fellas. Nicely done. Yeah, it's going to be a hell of a lot, a lot of Zeds down here, I reckon. Yeah. And they only grow. They only grow. All right, let's get ourselves inside. Let's get settled and see how we go. I think we're going to have a long way to go before we get inside. All of those Zeds are going to come flocking through this kitchen. And all of these Zeds are already a big enough problem. This ain't good. I really wish I had some sort of gun on me. It's crazy how much you rely on them once you start using them. Do you know what I mean? Back in the day, would have been good as gold. If I didn't have that silencer, I'd probably be dead by now. <laughs> I won't lie. I'd have got myself in way too many stupid situations. Kind of like this one. We still got it. Gun or no gun? Nice. Um, one hunter knife to the back. And we're pretty sweet as. Just gonna take one little sneak peek around here. Do you know I mean, I know they'll just get distracted by the windows, but at the same time, I'd rather have the peace and quiet. Oh, it's not expecting you there at all. Check your corners, kids. Ah, okay, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> they have gone from outside to inside. That place is no longer secure. Classic. All right, we're going to have quite a few Zeds to deal with here. This is, yeah, I knew today was going to be a long day. Knew it. Fingers crossed it's the only long day. Tomorrow should be fairly cruisy. I think tomorrow is going to be locking down the transit that big old yellow transit that sits in the corner i think it was in top class shape just without fuel but should still have that gas can with us yeah half half a can's worth of fuel would give us maybe quarter of a tank more than enough to get home anyway that's all we need that is all we need come yeah, on fellas there we go i was kind of hoping that'd be all of them but I know for a fact I'm going to get inside and it's going to be all downhill from there. Ah, oh, that's why. I left the door open. Probably wouldn't have been interested at all if that door was closed. Switch out to the old sheddy. There we go. Lovely job. Lovely, lovely job. All right, what have we got in here then? It's going to be worth clearing all of this out. Oh, there we go. Perfect. No, I didn't know we had three. I'll take that all day long. Three, four, and five. Lovely. Uh, probably could unload it, actually. Get the mag. Reload that puppy, too. Nice. Okay, we're pretty set for tomorrow. It's a great start to the day. The rest... The rest we can probably come back for, I reckon. I think. Put our folks straight onto the big guns. Why are there so many of you? Too many. Yeah, if we put our focus straight on the big guns, whatever we get in there is, is ours for the taking, really. I think that's the best way to go. For now, I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you guys bright and early. It's the first time in a while we've had snow like this. I've missed it. It looks absolutely lovely in this game. Once it was set and everything's bright white, it's just, ah, it's too nice. Way too nice. So for, for quite a simple, sim, simple kind of graphic game, they've done an excellent job. Absolutely nailing every part of it. Can't big up Indie Stone enough, really. Come yeah, on, fellas. Brilliant. 
Get out of here, Mr. Crawley. Don't want your attitude. Oh, we should be pretty good, though. I think for the most part, we're pretty smooth sailing. So I think most of them would have come down this way, which is good. And with any luck, by the time we get to the top, it's not too bad. Yeah, you can pretty much see the end right there. Smooth sailing, baby. Smooth sailing. What is that in your leg? Do you bring gifts or do you bring kitchen knives? Kitchen knives and hand forks. These are not the gifts I wanted, folks. And to top it off, you've missed Christmas. Unwanted gifts. A whole month late. The cheek of it. The cheek of it. Yeah, get out of here. I reckon we might pull this off. Definitely hear someone behind me. Hoping he's on the other side of the fence. Nope. Quite a few as well. Yeah, they're flooding out that hotel, aren't they? That's usually what, what gets us. And the big old sting. Come on, fellas. How well are we doing with the long blade? Very. Going up to level six. Wow, we're about a third of the way through. But I'll still take the win. Come on, fellas. Ah, that gunshot's going to ruin a lot of things. Every time. Feels like they're fully amped up this run as well. As soon as one gunshot goes off, absolutely every Zed comes for miles for it. I don't understand. Definitely on board with it. Makes the, makes the migration a lot of fun, but painful. Very, very painful. Also, yeah, look at that, man. Outrageous. Does anyone know what amount of Zeds are actually in Louisville? I know it's, I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot to conquer for one man. Probably too many, but I'd like to know where I stand. So I'm on about 20,000 now, so oh, I don't really want to be in any of this. See what, look at it. Why? <laughs> I'm going to get inside. I'm going to wait this one out. I don't really want to play that game. Probably just spend the day sat upstairs, wasting away. Figure it out tomorrow. So I'm just, yeah, going to get myself in a rut, I think. Those gunshots are just outrageous. That's a brand new car as well. All right, either way, let's let's go chill for a day. I think this is the only thing I dislike about this run so far. Everything else is wonderful, but our loot settings are just way too high, I think. So I've got it set to sort of the basic, basic whatever the apocalypse is, you know, standard day one, get goer. And it just feels like a lot. I've got so much, just everything. It's lovely. It's really nice. The amount of ammo we've got is outrageous and some of the weapons we keep finding are just excellent too. But the food. I wish I made the food lower. That's my only only qualm with this run. But otherwise, it's so good. I'm loving every second of it. The basic apocalypse uh, settings are just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. We're not too far out of finishing off the day either. So I'm just going to spend the rest of it probably sitting in this chair. We're going to get very bored. Very just... Bland, really. Not a lot going on, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. I've been sneaking around trying to find some antidepressants or just anything, like a book. And that's quite hard to hear now, but... Can you hear the amount of Zeds that are underneath us? I don't know if they're vaulting through this front window anymore, but... Yeah, that was not a nice sound to wake up to. Not at all. So I thought pulling back here, taking a little tactical retreat would be a good idea, but starting to regret my decisions a lot. It's going to be tough getting out of this place. I am truly expecting the worst, but 
There's only one way to find out how bad it really is, and I think we are just going to have to take the dive. So I'll keep hunting for some books, hopefully a couple of more comic books. They were a great find. We're close to being un unhappy. Well, I guess that's just happy. <laughs> we're close to being happy. We've just got to, uh, yeah, keep, keep digging. I would like to get into the pharmacy just over the road. So that should be filled to the brim with what we're after, antidepressants and the like. It'll be good. But yeah, I don't think that's going to be a today task. Unless I really need it. And it's slowly looking like we might. So we're, yeah, still a bit unhappy. We have got some fruit jam that might just pull us out of the dirt. But there we go. Perfect. I'd much rather be clear-headed and just ready to go, basically. So yesterday that gunshot pretty much ruined everything. Absolutely everything. Yeah, so I'm just going to have to make a run and hope for the best. Do not want to get caught in the doorway. A little bit scared to go around front as well. But going to take the outside rather than through the building. Couple of Zeds over there. Big old group over there. Big old groups everywhere. Fun. Smash out some fruit jam. Start a day right. Take on the massacre. We have got a lot of handgun rounds this time though, which is a huge help. Come on, fellas. So much for getting into the police station today, eh? Almost getting a bit of deja vu. Alright, I'm gonna tear through whatever comes this way. Hopefully it's not too bad. thought there'd be a lot more coming at us. That was a, a pretty cruisy time lapse. Hopefully they don't... <laughs> hopefully they aren't listening to me. The stream sniping Zeds were definitely ruined today. Ah, brilliant. That's also enough to semi-ruin the day. Ah, even better. We've got no space for it in the bag. So that's one that I can't leave behind. It's only been repaired once. Plenty more life in it yet. I guess... Pulling all reliable out isn't the worst idea. If we can break off a couple of these hunting knives as well, it wouldn't be so bad. Ah, oh, you know what though? It means there's a home for it after all. Should just drop us down underweight as well. Lovely. Right, fingers crossed. It's not a very good sign already, is it? We got any ammo? Yeah, fresh mag. Actually on the ball for a change. I feel so guilty for using this as well. That's the annoying thing. Really wanted to save that katana for when we were in the doorway, just going ham. But I don't think we're gonna pull it off. I reckon we're gonna get to that transit today and that'll be the end of the day. Which isn't the worst thing. We've done done one task at the least. There we go. Nice and easy. Too easy. Those big old chin stabs do know how to save the day, don't they? There we go. Oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, come on. Tell you what, though, we're not too far off. The little wins. We aren't too far. Feels like we're getting further. May as well just use the old beast. 
11, 12, 13, 14. And one for luck. Did he even reload that? No. I got a bit too eager. Last few standing, we should be able to get in. Not in the building, just to the truck. Just to the truck, that's all we need. Oh, you're joking. It's like that goalpost just keeps getting moved further and further. And if we can very quickly. So we're going to need that mag sooner rather than later too. There we go. Anyone else want to play? Beautiful. The truck is the end goal. The truck is the end goal. Six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. Still so many more to go. So many more. I don't think this... It might have had a key. Ah, it did have a key. Just don't think it had any gas. I think that was the only downfall of it. Yeah, it was. The battery's still good. Engine's still good. Come on. Not like this. Ah, they're getting closer. We're just going to have to do it, aren't we? Take care of these bad boys and then get that truck. And then, and then we're pretty much smooth sailing from there. I think next episode should be a quick get in, grab and go. As long as I secure this objective complete, I'll be happy. More than. Yeah, screw it. Let's just, let's just cut our losses. Take our winnings. We're probably going to have to deal with it anyway. But if we can get away with not dealing with it right now, I'll take it. Get the gas can out. Add that gasoline. Beautiful. She lives. I wonder if there's any gas in that. Don't think there is. No. That damage bonnet is showing at all. Alright, well. I'm not going to sit on the ground today. I'm going to play it very safe and do a very, very careful outro. I think I'm going to love you and leave you before we get ourselves in more chaos. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to love you and leave you just there. Thanks for watching. Massive thanks for member support on the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace.